Hello and welcome to one more tutorial uh, in Intel Edition series where we'll uh, try to learn uh, how to log the data in SD card as well as how to update the data in ThinkSpeak. So first of all we'll configure Wi-Fi. You can see there are two ports, mini uh, micro USB ports and we'll connect uh, the USB connector to both of these ports. The last one, the one at the top is used uh, to achieve serial communication with the Board on the uh, second one is uh, used in order uh, is used by Arduino ID and other ID. So first of all, you start my computer properties and device manager. Go to device manager. We shall see which port is for what and how the port should be used. Now navigate to ports, com and LPT. Expand this. Uh, you can see that there is a USB serial port which where no addition or something specified. This is the last uh, micro USB. Uh, click properties, go for port settings. Uh, the addition by default works with 115200. By default, this is set to 9600. Ensure that this is uh, set to 115200. Check out the other values. Now, sometimes the addition stops working, so because the port becomes hanged. So you can click on the advanced tab and select any other port and configure any other port uh, to be the addition's uh, uh, serial port. Say OK. Once you are satisfied with uh, all the configuration, you can just close it. So first, we are going to achieve a serial communication. We'll log into addition. Uh, and then we'll uh, configure Wi-Fi and thereafter we'll remove the first wire and we'll keep on working with uh, the uh, uh, Wi-Fi mode. So open your PERTI software. To start with we'll go with serial port. Uh, which port to be given? As we have seen USB uh, serial port at COM23. It could be some other name in your case. So just click on serial in sessions and ensure that your speed is 115 to 00 just say open you get a cursor like this non-blinking cursor just press enter uh, give your addition uh, uh, username and password if you had not already done just use configure underscore addition uh, you'd be able to set up your username and password for Wi-Fi it's mandatory that your additions should have certain password the uh, basic uh, Yocto image doesn't come with a password. Having uh, logged in using uh, Perti through serial communication, just use configure underscore addition uh, Wi Fi. Now, this is going to scan your uh, available Wi Fi network for 10 seconds. Uh, you need to select one network, uh, provide its uh, credentials and remember once you have created this profile, the moment the addition is booted up, uh, if the network is available, it immediately logs into the network. So here my network is third one, so I am going to select uh, three, press enter, it is going to ask you for a confirmation if that is your network just uh, give it a confirmation and uh, uh, I'm going to just paste the password here so having done that the addition is going to remember this credentials and after boot up will uh, log into the network directly now once the uh, Wi-Fi connection is successful it's going to create a hub uh, at an IP address which it is going to show you can just put this IP address on your browser and press enter you can see a small little home page so this is very important uh, because this is the IP address that we are going to use uh, henceforth to log into our edition now we'll just exit uh, we wanted to connect it uh, through USB that connection is done now we could uh, easily exit. Now see this is the port that we used. Uh, so the last one is used for USB connection. It is no more required. I'm going to remove this. As you see now this will have only one port. The one closer to the hardware switch that switches between the power supply and USB mode power supply. Uh, you can exit it. 
now we are going to again open party <clears throat> last time we are logged in through serial now we logged in through ssh now provide the ip address that you had uh, that your edition had shown so it's 192.168.1.101 in my case select ssh uh, let the port number be 22 as default over here uh, let the 22 port number be default and say open and you will see the putty shell uh, or take you to the login just login as root uh, and uh, your credential bingo so we are into your edition board through wi-fi now there is no usb serial cable you just give ls command and we'll see uh, <coughs> a certain things so and uh, slash sketch is the folder where you'll see sketch.elf uh, this is the file that gets uploaded by the arduino ide so whenever you uh, upload an arduino sketch this is the uh, place and this is the name with which the sketch will be uploaded but remember one thing over here even though uh, the sketch will be present in slash sketch directory uh, when you try to access the current directory from your arduino sketch that will always be referred to as uh, slash directory uh, just remember this fact okay uh, now we've uh, got our uh, wi-fi running now uh, the first thing that we'll try to see is how to log the data so we have linux command where you can echo and you can actually echo into a particular file so once you do this uh, the data will be stored uh, the result uh, of greater than sign that's going to put the result into a file you can just check out with the file just open your result.txt and you can see the data uh, being present over here so you're going to use this uh, uh, echoing stuff to get our data logged from our edition board uh, into the uh, result so <coughs> we can see that the data will be overridden every time over here so echo command is going to overwrite so if you want only a single data you can use echo command now let's go back to our edition program uh, I want to append the data uh, so I'll be using the file so let's declare a file pointer and open a rslt.txt now this rslt.txt invariably means a file in slash directory so your full path becomes slash rslt.txt let's append uh, first of all we are going to write this data being acquired from temperature sensor that we have learned from last uh, tutorial to the file you're going to append this information into the file so <coughs> design your delay appropriately it's never a good idea to open and close the files too often but remember if you are opening the file in loop do not forget to close it uh, else it will cause a segmentation fault which will stop your program to execute any further so yeah so the program is transferred so we assume that the temperature values are going to be locked into a file called rslt uh, I change the name to rslt1 so we can just see slash rslt1.txt and you see the temperature value ping out that's how the temperature values have been logged in you can clearly see the entire data being present uh, in the file so this is how we can log the data uh, of uh, sensor values into our hard disk as you can see it's about 27.96 and the data will be shown over here now remember because you are uh, opening uh, the file with a cat command for read mode there will be an access violation in this case which will result in the arduino program being uh, closed so because we have not used any kind of semaphore to uh, uh, you know uh, resolve the access uh, violation between these two now having done the data logging into one of your files we'll go for thingspeak.com and we are going to update the data into the cloud now i prefer thingspeak because uh, 
Certainly, it's a kind of very easy platform for the developers. Uh, it supports uh, updating uh, the data using uh, HTTP, so which is always a great thing uh, to do. Uh, it becomes platform independent. You can call those uh, from any platform. Now, things pick users channels. So you can create your own channel, make it public. Each channel will be having eight fields. I've already created uh, a channel called Gulbarga Weather which uh, is specifically meant for my tutorials where I try to log in the temperature and the light sensor values. Now once you uh, see that uh, we have a field one, now Thingspeak channel provides you with eight fields. I'm using only a couple of fields here. Field one is my temperature data. You can see how it looks as of as uh, uh, the 10th August uh, data is concerned. Now what I want to do is I want to log the temperature value being read from addition into this specific field. So uh, before that, so in order to do that, we are going to use some uh, uh, test. First, let us ping thingspeak.com from our console and see if it's pinging. So fine, the addition body is able to reach out to thingspeak.com. Now we'll use a Linux command called curl to print current channel. Now once you do that and press enter curl https thingspeak.com slash channels 1882 and you'll see the entire HTML page being uh, put into your uh, command into your shell. So uh, we understand that curl now is able to get connected with this specific channel and get the HTML data of this channel being fetched. But we do not want the HTML data, we want to update the data. So if you click on the data import export tab of ThingSpeak, um, they'll clearly provide you two APIs, one, I mean, two uh, HTTP APIs, one for sending data and one for uh, viewing the data. So uh, look for the update part. So as you can see here, the, the, it shows how to update the data. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to test it first from the command prompt. So do not forget to keep the HTTP part in uh, double quotation, otherwise it's not going to work. Now, if it works, it's going to show you a number that's the uh, data number, just read API and here you can see that 435 which was earlier shown in the command prompt appears over here, right. I have uh, included 28, now you can see one extra data. Okay, now we are going to put the same command back here into Arduino sketch and using a sprintf we are going to print this data into a string and uh, yeah now uh, the uh, Arduino sketch from my board is going to keep updating the uh, data as you can see now the data points are rising because the yeah, addition board is logging its temperature data uh, over here. The board is now logging the temperature data. You can also uh, visualize the data from the APIs uh, as you uh, refresh it, do it automatically refresh. Uh, you can see the uh, data. So this is how we can uh, log the data as well as we can put the data into the cloud for real-time visualization. You can note down this channel number of ThingSpeak and you can just open this in your mobile browser also. The graphs are quite well visible in the mobile browser. If you are using any other app, you can get this read API and read the JSON values, parse them and can display in any other graph format. So this is, this is how uh, we can uh, work with Intel Edition uh, with ThingSpeak as well as uh, logging the data into your uh, file. So uh, I hope that uh, you have enjoyed this tutorial. You can use the other cloud service provider to see what uh, are the other things that could be done on this. And you can uh, uh, you can make nice little apps. You can log temperature and uh, other values. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. I hope that uh, you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you very much. Stay tuned to our channel. Thanks.